guys, it's Tetsuo. I'm going to tell you how to make transparent texture in Wally -E and Paint.net for use with the Gold Source engine. Oh, the Gold Source engine. You are so old and people still have problems. So, let me try to make this as simple as I can. I have a CG Textures account, which I highly recommend grabbing because you can just come in here and download any one of these textures. So, I already have one of these downloaded and I will open it and show you how to modify that to get it transparent. Um, we'll open recent. Uh, here's my lattice. It's a paint.net file. So I have my my lattice structure with my orange background here and this orange color is just one color. It's not a gradient. Um, I'm just going to replace that with, I don't know, about red. So flood fill, collapse down, and then you're gonna save this as a bitmap. I'm gonna call this lattice two dot bitmap. And eight bit dithering level whatever. I don't think that matters. Anyway, now we open up Wally. -E. No, it's not indexed yet. So you come into Wally -E -E. and you create a new texture package. Make sure it's halflife.wad. And here's your image list. So then you can come into your texture that you just made and just drag and drop that straight into your, the image list. Um, so I want to be in pictures, textures. Here's lattice 2. So you can open this up. And see, yeah, it's red, but is it really red? Because look over here, this is your color palette. And so you're going to come on to Colors, Edit Palette, and then just have this last color here, and you can change this to whatever you want. So, um, how about 255, 2550, right? So now it's a nice yellow. Okay, hit OK. So it's apparent to us to me right now that it doesn't always follow the gradient in the color palette so you're gonna have to modify this yourself uh, take your paint bucket tool which is here select that last color in the color palette and just pop it into all your transparent areas and you'll see kinda where the other colors in the color palette are screwing with you right now because you can see a little red dot every now and again <coughs> So if you want to fix that, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can go paint over each one of those dots, which, you know, I, I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to paint over them. Uh, right, so now we can save this as lattice 2, right? And we want to remip it because we want everything to be yellow again. Oh, look at that. That looks like crap. That's fine. So lattice two is done, and I'm just going to save this as whatever tests dot wad. It doesn't matter. It's in my val folder. So as soon as I open sledge, and as soon as I run half life, it's going to recognize that, and that's all I have to do. So that's fine. Yeah, save all my changes. All right now I can open up sledge. <coughs> Oh, wait. I think I screwed up. I definitely screwed up. Hold on. Programs. I gotta make a shortcut to Wally. Right here. Alright. Um, yeah, I forgot to make it transparent. So, this lattice 2 needs to have that... Uh, open curly bracket, curly brace, whatever you want to call it before it, because, fuck, now I gotta close sledge. Alright, I promise this is gonna work now. Swear to God. Alright, so that's the old one. So I'm just gonna come over here and make a new one somewhere. How about right here? Yeah. 
I'm going to copy this wall out, and we're going to make that lattice 2. So here's lattice, that's my old one, and here's lattice 2, the new one we just made. I'm going to apply it, and just for ha-has, we're going to fit it. So you can see in Sledge, it supports texture transparency, but if this was Hammer, for instance, you would see yellow inside of there. Um, so right now it's a world brush. God, I am screwing this up. Tie it to an entity. Funk wall. Right, uh, this is spirit, so a lot of the values are multiplied for some reason. Multiple, but uh, render mode is going to be solid. And FX amount is going to be 255. And now we save and run again. Huzzah! There we go. Transparent texture without using the color blue. So you can't use blue, but it just needs to be the last color in the color palette. So. Thank you all.